good downtown Las Vegas? You already know what it is. I am Akil, the real deal with zeal and mass appeal. And I love downtown Las Vegas or DTLV. It's a community of inspiration, a community of creative energy, a community of entrepreneurship. But you know, that's just my opinion. To really learn the way of life of downtown, we need to talk with someone living the downtown lifestyle. And today, here at the market, we're going to meet with Jeremy Martin. How are you? I'm doing good today, Akil. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for coming out. How did you, you got here okay? The weather's pretty good? Yeah, it's a little cold and rainy outside, so I wasn't expecting that. Didn't have an umbrella, so a few drops, but not too bad. Jeremy is our first guest of the new year. So Jeremy, what you got going on in downtown Las Vegas? Oh man, you know, we moved our family down here last April and uh, been kind of uh, in limbo ever since. And uh, now we are, as of January 1, full-blown living, working, playing in downtown Las Vegas. Okay, so, so what is it, when you say you're living, working, and playing, what is it exactly that you're doing? Yeah, well, we, we moved down here on 11th and uh, Carson right across the street from the bunkhouse. So we like to try and just be in and around uh, everything that's going on down here. And uh, we also are uh, working with a, a startup like everybody else down here has a startup of some sort, it seems. And uh, we're really excited because it's kind of a unique startup. All right. Remind me of how long you've been here again. Yeah, since uh, April 2015, so we're going on the eight months, yeah. Have you noticed changes since you first moved here? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just various uh, restaurants opening up and things like that. And also, um, you know, some of the things that I, I didn't realize was down here was a vibrant community already. And so just seeing kind of how that community itself just kind of morphing and growing uh, with things coming and going and uh, just a lot of stuff the downtown project has going on and then other people uh, that are just doing things down here, constantly meeting people and uh, just seeing it kind of very fluid where you're not sure what's going to happen next, but something's going to happen. You're involved with the startup, right, down here? What exactly is your startup? Well, it's a unique startup. It's actually a startup church. Uh, so one of the things that that we uh, that we saw when we were coming down here and when we were spending time down here uh, and then we were hearing about all of the great things going on uh, was that there wasn't necessarily a church for downtown. Or if there was, people didn't really know about it. And uh, Wait, why do you think that is? That if there is one, people didn't know about it and there's not really, no one can say there's one established. Yeah, it, it could be for various reasons. Uh, it could be just marketing issues or things that just maybe churches that tried to start or were already down here but maybe didn't exist for the community uh, and they struggle maybe getting traction. There's maybe churches that meet in La downtown Las Vegas, but they're not for downtown Las Vegas. And so we wanted to kind of uh, maybe change that and, and develop a church and create a church specifically for downtown Las Vegas and specifically a church that creates space uh, to discuss life and faith. Okay, so it's a startup. Oh man, I imagine you're having a lot of success and a lot of challenges. How has the downtown Las Vegas community been helping you out with this startup? Yeah, so uh, success and challenges, yeah, we, we, we see them both each and every day. Um, but one of the things that has been the most surprising is I really thought it would take a while for someone to come down here and say, hey, we want to start a church, and for that to really catch on and for people to think, hey, that's a good idea, uh, and to build a team and to help. But what we've actually seen is uh, almost immediately when we started talking to people about that and kind of dreaming and imagining what it could look like, um, People associated living and working and playing downtown and who love this area uh, just began to show amazing interest and actually help connect us to other people. And one of the biggest, one of the biggest things that you need when you're, you're starting something is you need the right kind of people uh, to help you come in and build and create. And uh, I just met so many awesome people that just kind of keep connecting me to other people. And uh, most everyone uh, seems very positive about the idea of, of having a church down here where we can talk about life and faith. That's great. That's one of the things that I like to talk about too, is community downtown Las Vegas, how willing people are to collaborate with you. And that's a big thing they push is how you can walk. This is a walkable city. I walked here today. Did you? 
Uh, yeah, I actually walk from my place to uh, work in progress right down the road where I'm uh, currently working out of. And then uh, right over here to the market, I walked and grabbed lunch today and then I'll walk home after this. And uh... I mean, that's how we meet so many other entrepreneurs, other people that have something crazy going on downtown Las Vegas. And I'm curious, do you have any specific examples where you had a, a random collision like that where you ran into someone and then you end up doing a collaborating together? Uh, kind of. Um, one of the man, one of the coolest stories was uh, years ago when I guess Zappos was first moving down here. I met kind of the project manager for for the move uh, down to City Hall. I met him on a plane, and uh, really great guy. Cast vision for the community they wanted to create down here uh, with Zappos and also the downtown project. And that was kind of the first seed that was kind of planted in my heart to say, hey, something's going on in the city that you love, and. Uh, so when we first moved down here, like I said, last April, um, yeah, I hadn't talked to him since I was on a plane next to him in 2011, 2012, something like that. And uh, I was walking home from the public us right around the corner. I live on the same block. And uh, I was coming around the corner, and I see him standing on the corner. And I was like, I said his name, and, and he was like, oh, and he remembered me. And, and he started, we started talking, and, and I was like, yeah, I live right there. He's like, oh, I live right across the driveway from you. And, and it was really cool because um, he actually is one of the, the co-founders of Work in Progress, which is a place where I'm going where other startups are kind of um, connecting and, and working out of. And we're able to kind of work out of there as well and utilize that resource. And he kind of connected me to that. And then uh, actually just talking to him today about just kind of more ways to um, – to connect and, and help us get started. Real quick, will you tell us a little bit more about Work in Progress? Because I've been there myself when I wanted to do work. Yeah, yeah. I love it. It's a co-working space. I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, basically, it's just uh, people who want to come and be a member of it. You don't, you don't have to have like a dedicated office space. Uh, it's kind of open air, which I love. You kind of got the energy where you hear what's going on with other people. And uh, and and then there's there's also just this atmosphere of wanting to create community and help each other. You got people there with big ideas and with big brains. And uh, sometimes I feel like the dumbest person in the room when I see what other people got going on. And, and uh, it's just fantastic. And so it's a great um, office environment. And for us, I know it was one of the things that, that my advisory team, uh, as I was looking at budgeting and spending money and, and how we want to do that, one of the first things he said is like, yes, you should go to a place like that and work out of there um, because of the relationships, the connections that you'll be able to make out of there. And so it's uh, today was actually my first day as an official member and uh, really excited about the future there, continuing to meet people and connect downtown. Congratulations. I'm glad. I'm not surprised you're taking advantage of all the resources we have in downtown Las Vegas. Yeah. And I'm curious. DTLV Faith, the, the downtown faith, your startup, the church, how is the success of your business or the startup going to impact our community downtown? Yeah, so there's a, a lot of areas um, that make a community a community, and, and there's things like obviously you want you want business and, and arts and culture, and and then entrepreneurship coming in, and, and technology and education, and I think a lot of those things are 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 here and are happening. You got a lot of people with those great ideas that are doing some great things, um, but I think that any. Uh, vibrant community is going to have uh, vibrant communities of faith within that community. And so what we'll do uh, won't be really any different. We won't have to create community. There's already community here. But I think that we can make it uh, more vibrant and more vital and bring more life to the area and hopefully bring in more people. Uh, I think whenever you, you have things like churches and schools that are, that are successful and vibrant and full of life, uh, bring energy to a community, people want to live there. And so our hope is that um, the success of our, our startup church and the success of uh, downtown Las Vegas as a whole, that they will, um, they'll be interconnected, that, that one will help the other. If we succeed, downtown succeeds. If downtown succeeds, we succeed. And uh, that we, we, we think we're definitely going to see that. And we're excited about the energy that's already being present. And we're just really an idea and a church on paper right now. <laughs> so you mentioned... You're a family man. You have wife and kids. What is it? Because a lot of people are hesitant about coming downtown because of, of what it's famous for in the past, of the crime, maybe not having a lot of places to shop, to get resources. 
But what is it that brought you to downtown Las Vegas? And do you recommend now that you're here living with a family in this area? You recommend it to people? Oh, absolutely. I tell people all the time, and, and we actually have friends that are kind of are moving are in the process of moving down here to, to join us and be a part of what we're doing because they've seen our life and thought to themselves, oh, well, it's not so crazy. And, and actually the husband and the family, he, he grew up in this area back when it, it wasn't as, as uh, up and coming and, and he, he loves this area. And so, yeah, when we, when we told actually the church that we were at before that we were, that we were going to be leaving and coming to downtown Las Vegas, there was a collective groan like, Oh, why would people do, why would you do that with your family? And my wife was pregnant, uh, you know, with a new baby. And, and, you know, I kind of just laugh because I, I think there's certainly a misconception of what it's like down here. And so one of the things that I want to do is through the process of, of building a team and bringing people down here and, and certainly uh, starting a church is to show people this is a place um, where individuals and families can come and live a vibrant, exciting life and pursue their passions and pursue uh, the, the, the meaning that they want, uh, that they can find in their life. And uh, I think I can't find a better place. I mean, where else can can my two year old son every day see a giant robot praying mantis? He calls it the big bug, and when we drive home, if we're somewhere out, we have to drive by the big bug so he can roll the window down, he can blow it a kiss, he can say hello, and uh, just think things like that to me make this an exciting place to live in, and really a one of a kind place to live. And I would highly recommend everybody come down here and be a part of it. Live your passion here in downtown. Thank you. I, I agree, and I'm totally biased, but I love it here. And the, the things that you mentioned aren't necessarily the same things I would from family's point of view, but I do appreciate the, the Prey and Mountains at the Container Park, but also appreciate, like you said, work in progress and being able to meet so many like-minded, business-motivated people. All right, Jeremy, thank you again for the time. Meet with me at the market. Absolutely. If you want to learn more, and I know you do, about Jeremy and the downtown faith, check him out at dtlvfaith.com. Also, check out the Downtown Faith podcast discussion on the website and follow him on social media at dtlvfaith.